Do I think ultimately too many defensive cards were taken? That was part of our problem. That was part of the problem. This is your chance, Metamorphosis. Don't let us down. What's the goal with Ironclad? 20 wins in a row. And I am indeed enjoying him quite a bit. Definitely want card draw with Metamorphosis here. Rugret's pretty good too. We're fighting Slime Boss, right? Yeah, Pommel Strike. Omel. Wind is interesting. An event here. I like where this is going. Is it ever tactical to just pick the choose a card? Yep, that could be the right pick. And yeah, sometimes then skipping is also the correct pick. Uh, in which case you can still be in a advantage position, because if you see any number of common cards from that first card reward, then you're progressing towards your first rare find, essentially. It's been a while since I've taken a thunderclap. Let's try this one out. Give me that one vulnerable. Oh, dear. Oh, crap. These guys are gonna destroy us. I wonder if we're just going to allow ourselves to be robbed here. Kill the, the little slime. I don't feel like I can get them both very easily. 23 damage on turn one. It's tough. That is tough. That's tough. Please stop hit hitting me. Dang it. Ow. Minus 30 from this fight. Terrifying. And minus 60 gold as well. I have nothing to lose, so I really don't care. Let's see how this goes. Hmm. Uh, we need metamor metamorphosis here. Failed. Dang. Those weren't the cards I was looking for, although they might be sufficient. All right, didn't die. Try a flex. Weird flex, but okay. It's safe to rest, huh? I want to go two more elites. We don't have to do two more elites, but it seems crazy not to. Let's do it.
quarter. <laughs> nice try. Nice try. Maybe one of the essence here. Not too late. Double Searing Blow, the power. Okay, we get the Eternal Feather again, as well as a Block Potion. Corruption, if we want one. And because of the Metamorphosis, I actually kind of do want one. Although Anger might be more reasonable here. I'm taking Corruption. It's a powerful card. Whirlwind. Thank you. Okay. And we should probably consider a Combust just to make sure we get through Slime Boss here. Intact. I'm, I'm not under the belief that Whirlwind Metamorphosis alone will be sufficient. Now, there's not a whole lot of defense going on, but that's a problem for future us, of course. Bonk. Big bonk. Crush, sir. I'm down for an armaments. I do plan on still doing the occasional non clad run just for variety's sake, and some of those make it to the YouTube. Microchip T, did you hear that the Ironclad launched his own line of chocolate wafers? They're called Arma Mints. And they're delicious. All right, the rematch against this nerd, except this time, it's better. Why play only three energy of skills when I can play four? the cards. Berserk is back, huh? Probably I should just take another Pummel Strike. It's an interesting Berserk, though, especially given that I can upgrade it immediately. And that we have an X-Cost card. I don't think so. Corruption makes me not really want Berserk very much. As we're likely to have a lot of... three cards in hand at any given moment. So I guess what I'm saying is I don't trust it. Okay, those are cool. Three blood for blood. I like it. Hmm. Do bash combust thanks to Nunchaku here? Worth it. Is that enough to split? We deal another 18 plus 7, 25 is not enough. Ow. Well, I guess the good news is that means we're getting a good split. Next 
turn. Oh. Yeah, worth it. By good split up, by the way, I mean we win. I'll take it. I will take it. Corruption says take Impervious. Everything else says take Offering. I'm on team everything else here. I'll take the card draw and the self-damage, both. We got lots of healing with Eternal Feathers, so I don't mind doing some self-harm here. And it's either Fusion Hammer, Busted Crown, or Pandora's Box for us. Hmm. Corruption Pandora's. Interesting. Do not dislike that Pandora's, though it could be really, really bad. Um, Fusion Hammer would be a little awkward because of Flex, but we do have an Arma Plus. Hmm. Could have guessed this run gets out of Act 1 and the last one didn't. I mean, last run would have dunked tech, uh, Slime Boss just fine. Freaking Hexaghost. Freaking Hexaghost, man. What if we just trust in uh, Metamorphosis? Hmm. No, it can't be, uh, can't be crowd. Just sadly take hammer. Just, just sadly take hammer. Just regret everything. It's fine. Just fight a million elites. Easy. No problem. Gentlemen. Two Shanes, thanks for the ten months. Oh? Hmm? Yes. We are now Necro Guys. That Whirlwind slaps. Need some more two-costers. Where's our Searing Blow now? You. Ow, I guess, actually. Oh no. This would only do 60 damage. I'll do this instead. Terrible. Simply terrible. What do you mean we don't even win? That's terrible. Uh, we can go to this rest site, though, thankfully. Strength. Real strength. Unupgraded real strength is a bit disappointing, but I think I still take it here. Almost like this deck isn't very good. Almost. Hmm. 
It's nice knowing you, fairy. It's for the heal, at least. Okay. Not usually how we like things to go, but uh, sometimes that is how it is. Please draw Whirlwind early. Thank you. Okay, Red Mask will make things a lot easier here. And an Impervious to go with our Corruption. Okay, okay. That's an improvement. As for the health situation, well... What if I did this? That's a bit better. And we can still get three elites, you say? Okay. Okay, no need to panic yet. Hey, you want some ginger? Hey, kid. You want some ginger? Tasty, tasty ginger? Give me the rare cards. Don't ask too many questions. Disaster. Didn't draw a whirlwind. How sad. Still. Didn't draw a whirlwind. Ominous music plays. Not getting entangled, though. There we go. Satisfying. Get a Juzu bracelet. All right. Demon form. Nah. I don't want it. Bouncy robot with two years, 24 months of support. Hmm. Guaranteed block sounds pretty good, actually. See what our third elite is. It's Gremlin Leader, who is attacking turn one, which is a good thing. Kind of regretting giving away the ginger right now, though. It's funny. Uh, even if I fear pot, you never die. Slight bummer. Only slightly. Ginger, come back! Ginger, please. Oh, no. Maybe should have fear potioned then. Good, okay. Double whirlwind? What could it mean? Okay. Don't need to. Finally, some good news. Also, we can. Okay get through our second elite fight just fine scoring a bag of marbles now they're weak and vuln on turn one we're offered another demon form i'm gonna ignore it because there's a disarm here rupture is also not that bad because of combust and offering i am definitely a firm believer in clicking on disarm generally speaking Second Feel No Pain is here. Medical Kit is here. Second Whirlwind is here. Interesting. Transmutation also here, hilariously. I have three energy and double tap a Whirlwind. Each Whirlwind will play the amount of energy you initially had. Yeah, so it'd be three times three. With, with add. Necronomicon. 
as well. The wind condition. Ah. Hoot. I mean, yes. Yes to all of these things. Pretty much. Except for strikes. No to strikes. Strikes get out. Whirlwind get in. Forgotten God get in. Now. Of stabbing get out. Get out. An exhaust flex to gain some block this turn? I guess I might as well. I probably should have played corruption first for more block also. Before armaments, that is. Well, this is adequate. This would be 12 times 12, which is 144. Beautiful. Double uppercut or double heavy blade? I've got flex and inflame. Tempted by double heavy blade here for the single target damage to really kill stuff fast. Although its inability to be upgraded is a little iffy. But I buy Chemex now with two whirlwinds and the necro, I sure would. Oh yeah, big time for sure. I don't have good weakness yet, which makes double uppercut pretty powerful. It's a really good artifact buster as well. I'll take the uppercut. Take the uppercut. Did sell your kidney for Chemex in this position? Yeah, no kidding. Add Chemex to this and you have basically a speedrun deck. Time for someone to get punched. It's you, Collector. Thank you, Orichalcum. Plus six health here. Get attacked again. What if I just whirlwind a crap ton, though? Have you ever considered that? Deal 40 damage with Whirlwind. I don't think that's actually that important. Double Bash is more important. Let's go Double Bash, feel no pain. Play the Whirlwind for one Nunchaku stack here. Ginger, come back. That's fine. You just Corruption. Impervious. Suffering. I don't think I had a kill with Fiendfire, but maybe. GG. Collector drops without too much of a struggle, quite frankly. And we're offered a barricade. One of my favorite things to see with uh, Corruption Double Field No Pain is barricade. Limit Break would be kind of cool if only the strength was more reliable. I'll take a Barricade. I'll take a Barricade all day. If one Corruption's good, surely two Corruption is better. Oh, oh my lord. The Holy Trinity. Wow. Um, I think with the Barricade, we want the Snekawai over the uh, Runic Pyramid. We have a couple of things that make Snekawai particularly appealing. One, one of our best damage options is X cost cards. And those are ignored by the cost randomization. Two, we have several high cost powers that we want to put in play. Corruption and Barricade. Three, Corruption overrides the cost randomization of all the skills. So 
Offering will still be free. Gets more cards in hand for armaments. There's a lot of reasons to go Snekoi here. The Pyramid makes the timing of the block cards a bit better. Makes Barricade a fair bit worse, though. How does Metamorphosis work with it? They will be random cost. Um, but the cool thing is here that if our cards, if our attacks specifically are random cost, then it means that various attacks can benefit from Necronomicon, which is kind of cool. I think it's Neko Eye. I like it. I like it. Actually, very rich. Does streamline work with Sneko? Again, the cost is re-randomized each time you draw the card. But if you can get the card into your hand without drawing it, say from Hologram, then Streamline will be discounted by one from whatever the random cost was uh, each time you draw it. Or each time you play it. Uh, with Sneko Eye. So you can draw it at random one cost, then play it one time, then Hologram it. It'll be zero cost, for example. Just as an example. Double Thunderclap. Build your own shockwave. Excuse you. Uh, this would be 7 times 10, 70. Yeah, you're dead. Real Shockwave, or get a Disarm Plus. We are fighting Donu Deka. Still take the Disarm, though. There's Plus on it. Yeah, so uh, Secret Weapon or Seek or anything like that, Heligonian, those bypass the cost randomization on draw. So those you can use to retain the, um, the cost reduction effectively. Aulini, 1995, thanks for the Prime sub. Welcome to the Cozy Sub Club. Welcome, welcome. Sorry, the cost is not created on shuffle, but on draw. I like getting deep off turn one by this thing, but I don't feel like I have better options. So, here we are. Go feel no pain. Change the intent. That's better. Barricade impervious. I'm going to punch you. No, if I punch you, you might curse me. So it's just going to be Arma feel no pain. Ooh, I don't like that. Concerning. What can you do, though? Get cursed, I guess, is what we can do. Maybe it was our best option. Yeah, I'm not going to risk it. Double bludgeon. The re bludgeoning. Ning. Good.
double bonk. Good fight. Get a rare card. That rare card is Brutality. Brutality is not welcome here. Get another Arma, though. Basically, with Barricade and two Feel No Pains and Corruption, there is no limit to the number of... skills that we want. What do we give up for in-laws gifts? We gave him real food for once. The ginger. Let's see. 13, 19 times 8. Won't kill, huh? No, but it is a tremendous amount of damage. And I can full block afterwards. The Whittle Wolfie, thanks for five very generous gifted subs. Welcome one and all to the Cozy Sub Club. Here we go. Easy full block. punched. Paper Frog is nice for making vulnerable enemies take more damage. I guess I'll take a True Grit. Exhausting a random card in hand, generating some block. Fairy came back. That's right. Welcome back, Fairy. It's very good that you're here. It'll actually cost me some damage to do this, but I, I want to demonstrate something that I, I've mentioned a couple of times. When you upgrade a card that has a change in cost upon being upgraded, unless it was already zero cost, uh, it will change its cost to the new upgraded cost. So Barricade is normally a three cost card that upgrades to two cost. Currently it's one cost. If we use armaments to upgrade it, it becomes two cost. It actually increases in price. One of the few situations where that can happen. I'll play it. No, get raving. I haven't spent any time with auto battlers. I can see where there's a lot of overlap, especially with the communities at large, but I have zero interest. The blocking. Now, that one we take. Heavy Blade with a plus should slap pretty well. Yeah, what happened to that run from... Uh, we had a good streak going yesterday, but then we immediately lost it to Hexaghost today. Because Hexaghost is, in fact, a force to be reckoned with. Good reminder. Exhume is pretty baller here. It's a second Impervious. Potentially second upgraded Impervious. Oh man, I wish I could take that. Bummer. My record number for Searing Blow upgrades. In terms of permanent upgrades, the best I remember doing is uh, plus was uh, 17, I believe. Perhaps against my better judgment. I'm gonna play both of these.
barricade? Where are you? There you are. Double strike. With the Whirlwinds, I actually don't think Immolate is very good, but uh, Double Tap is probably pretty good. With the Corruption and all that. Seems just fine. Triple Tap. What's the gift box do? It makes us more likely to see rare cards. We had to give up a relic in order to get it. I keep that impervious around until after we play Barricade or similar. Only one more turn to set up, though. Here we are. Perfect. So armaments here would make both corruption and barricade become two cost. Gotta be careful with the order then. Zoom offering here. Although that still won't let me play the other Feel No Pain, sadly. So I don't think I'm going to. Triple play pummel strike here. I guess I'm going to. Fifty three eighty. Okay. Good turn. It actually went pretty well. Get a boot thingy for 10 block turn one. We get another rare card, Limit Break. But what about Sentinel Plus? If this card is exhausted, gain three energy. All we have to do is play it with Corruption. Seems very good. I like the Strength Potion too. We can duplicate a card in the deck with this Duplication Shrine. Duplicate the Sentinel? Genuinely a decent option. Duplicate Dark Embrace is okay. Duplicate Impervious is good. Duplicate the Armaments Plus, also very reasonable. Actually completely like that suggestion. Currently at 36 cards. It's a lot of cards. Duplicate Necronomicurse. To get the mastery. I'll dupe Impervious. It's completely fine. And you know what? I'll take one more event. Regrets. How much do I regret this choice? Let's find out together. She's gonna dupe the strike. Coulda, shoulda, wouldn't a. Uh. 
It's not a great turn. It's a terrible turn. Hmm. Oh well. I guess so well. Sneko giveth, and sometimes Sneko also taketh. Thank you, Free Corruption, for saving me here. Things change quickly once the powers are in play. It's really all about that corruption. The triple whirlwinds. Ow. Regret, don't kill me now. Still got a nerd bird to deal with, after all. Better play defend, huh? No, no, no. Well, one gives one energy. I live on one. Don't love that. Ow. Oh dear. So it's just fiend fire then. I want to exhume something first. It's not really. Okay. How's it going, Munchy Dan? I don't have any g rules against backseating in general. You're more than welcome to suggest lines or ask questions about the play. I won't always respond or listen, though, but you're more than welcome to ask. I don't want to lose my impervious yet for no reason. So I'll take one. One damage, please. We need to kill it. Uh, ideally on this turn, if possible. Looks like it is possible. I also need regret to not kill me, which may not be possible. Terrifying. Oh, 
Apparently it won't. But we're gonna draw it again soon. Then what? Then what I say? Stone Keller to happen. Okay. Let's just do this. I should have double strike first. We've got 24 more with that. Fine. Draw the regret. Ash. Will deal sixteen times eight. Hundred and twenty eight. Ah, uh, we're a little bit short. Strength potion gets me there. So I now have medical kit. That's not how that works, unfortunately. Status cards. This is a curse card. And now we get to answer a question that I actually don't know the answer to off the top of my head. Does Stone Calendar activate before Regret does? Uh, the rule of thumb that I've learned is that we go top to bottom, left to right in terms of screen space. So potions, then relics, then power effects, then cards in hand, but I'm really not sure. My guess is Stone Calendar will save us here. Yes, it did. Cool. Fairy Preserved. Two thump, two thump, two thump, a deep pulsing dread could be felt throughout the room is this. The heart of the spire, the source of this nail-biting action. No regrets. Yeah, I figured that regret might cost us going through the boss gauntlet, but I wanted the extra cash for the shop here. Let's see if it uh, pays off. Did we need the Strength Potion with Calendar? Yes. I think we're about five damage, no, seven damage short if I didn't use the Strength Potion by my count. Telothrix, thank you for the sub. Three generous months. Appreciate it. Salty Old Badger, thanks for 15 months. Could have had double transmutation. I'll take an Ancient Potion. Make the heart kill us less hard. I'll remove the curse, please and thank you. That leaves me enough for uh, Vajra here. Or Akabeko, actually. Akabeko for turn one whirlwind slaps, although notably it only affects the first whirlwind. But that would mean if I drew whirlwind plus on turn one against spear and shield, it would do eight times 12. 96 damage to them both. That's not enough. Fling better than Vajra? Well, only if you don't value damage in the heart fight. Which I do. Wouldn't it be 16 by 8? No, it would be 16 times 4 plus 8 times 4. Again, the Akabeko only applies to the first Whirlwind. Not all of them. So I'll take the Vajra. Ooh, nice turn one. Spicy. I can even flex before a heavy blade here. My only regret is drawing both Imperviodes, but there's still um, Exhum here. I'd prefer to keep both of these potions for the heart. Hey, not bad. Not bad at all.
Really lucky overall. Ow, really lucky. Don't even have to play the Defend and Sentinel to keep those. Really good start to this fight. This is no problem either, because I can just exhume Impervious. I have all the block I need for this turn. Um, maybe should have been Flames? Yeah, I should have been Flames. Fine. Heard variations on that one before being petty. Uh, like, what is the, the least number of floors you would need to be able to beat the heart? That's another variation on raising that one. Kind of a cool concept, for sure. Dead. We get an incense burner right before the heart. That's pretty fortuitous. And a reaper. All right, then. I like it. I like it a lot. Onwards and upwards. Rimin Duem, thanks for the prime sub. Welcome to the cozy sub club. Hmm. Nothing too fancy turn one. Previous exhume is a little disappointing to see. That's fine, though. We can extend the weekend through the entire first cycle, which is quite nice. Combining that with blocking vulnerable by using the ancient potion means we only take half damage from the heart during the first cycle. And that's pretty good. Let's go armaments. Upgrade the feel no pain. A corruption block a lot. Just so very much. I can do a hell of a whirlwind this turn, so I guess I might as well. Anytime you can cap damage on heart, seems like it's a good idea to do so. Spin to win, as they say. Barricade to win. Oh. Keep that disarm for later. Wish I had a disarm right about now. Body slam's cool. Now. Great turn to be intangible as it means offering only does one damage to us. Slam, delete something at random. Losing Hemo is fine. Enough. Enough. Really hoping to upgrade uh, Pervious, though. Oh well. Get in there, Stone Calendar.
get punched. GG, nerd. I'm toast. GG. There we go. Nice clean run. Under an hour. Get us back to one there. If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next. And don't forget to follow on Twitch to watch the content live. Click the link in the description below.